The Perry Project. All right, let me get to a couple of quick offers, then we're going to get to our first mailbag. Um, the Francis Project. $40 for, for Joey. This goes to Joey. If Perry strokes the hot dog costume and tells the 92 story like it's Randy's piece. Never say it again, you fucking asshole! God fucking damn! How many fucking times do I got to repeat myself about a stupid fucking story about when I was fucking sexually assaulted? Fuck you! Alright, I answered an ad in the penny saver, okay? Just call the number. Not rubbing your belly so much. Just You're kind of like rubbing down your sides with both hands in a way. You know what I mean? Like you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Call the number on the card. I mean, in the penny saver. Call the number in the penny saver. Uh, the guy invited me to his office in in uh, uh, North Hollywood, Studio City, off of um, Laurel Canyon. And uh, <clears throat> he took my picture. He... He uh, uh, t- told me, you know, where the uh, photo shoot was going to be at um, Magic Mountain Studios. Gave me the address, so I went there. Then, you know, when 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 the shoot was, so like a few days later. So um, I'm on this film set, and I mean, not just one or two, but I mean, the entire set of women were beautiful women. I mean, there was not an old crow on the set at all. And this was a film shoot. <clears throat> Excuse me. This was a film shoot set on top of a. On t- oh, I, I gotta explain. On top of a a forty foot high uh, platform that we all had to stand on. Okay. Dressed up like doctors and nurses and stuff. So I've got a doctor's. Uh, Doctor's coat on and and, and things and uh, here's this uh, Shannon Doherty look like uh, young lady that uh, you know started to hang out with me and stuff on the set and um, uh, by the time the evening uh, was over she asked me for directions back to the freeway if I knew where I was going and I you know I had her follow me up to the freeway and then I pulled over as I was entering the freeway. She pulled over behind me, and I walked back to her car to ask her if she knew where she was going. She said yes. So, like a gentleman, like I normally do to most girlfriends, I give them a kiss and a shake, good night, you know, and, and then I'm on my way. But when she saw me stick my head under the car to give her a kiss in the cheek, she entirely moved her, her entire body from the driver's side of the car to the passenger side of the car, scared of me. I have no idea why she was afraid of me, because... Her and I were hugging and kissing most of the day, afternoon, or evening, graveyard shift evening. Hey, hey Barry, I know you're Uh-oh. Italian and you talk with your hands, but less talking with your hands, more rubbing, please. Okay, well, you know, so uh, I, I immediately po- apologized to her for it, and then I just got my my, uh, my uh, Toyota truck and drove home. Went to sleep, woke up the next morning with a phone call by the guy that hired us. He told me that I am in trouble for what I did uh, the night before on the Magic Mountain film set. So I didn't know what I did. I had no idea what I did. And I and I said, I'm sorry for whatever I did. He says, get over here immediately. So I go over to the uh, film studio in Studio City. And uh, I walk into the office. I walk into the office. Heidi says he's in there. And I... I says, thank you. And I walk in and the guy stares at my crotch, stares at my crotch. And I look to my eye and I says to him, I go, I am not sucking your dick. I am not sucking your dick. So then he looks at me eye to eye and he says, OK, well, if I don't suck your dick. I mean, uh, if you don't suck my dick, then I suck your dick. And you jerk me off and I'll and I'll set you up uh, on another shoot tomorrow. With uh, Christina Applegate, Elizabeth Pena, and uh, Tony Cox. And I uh, don't remember if he said the other two names, but he did say Christina Applegate. And um, I thought about it, and I first originally said no. I, I said no, no way. And then, and then I, I gave in to this to the stupid uh, agreement, and I let him do what he did to me. So 
That's the God's honest truth. I've said it that way for the past 30 fucking years plus. So, and I'm tired of saying it, and I'm not going to say it ever again. End of story. Okay? Over and out.